Good to see you again. I'm back. I'm still in the battle against grubs in my garden. And now I have my nematodes. These are beneficial nematodes. And I purchased two kinds. From what I see, there's three popular kinds, maybe only three kinds. And they treat different things. Some of them cross over. And I'm going to include the link to the company that I bought these from in the description box. But one thing I did find out by reading was that um, these, this type of nematode here, the HB, oops, sorry, the HB nematode, it also is beneficial, has been found to be beneficial against parasitic nematodes. They're called root knot nematodes. These have been found to be helpful against them, so that could be a solution for you organic gardeners out there that are having problems with those. So I bought from two different companies, and I didn't really mean to do that, but when I first saw them online, I just ordered it right away, and I didn't really do complete the research. HB is what is works best against the mass Schaefer. And I had already ordered this and I got this, but that's okay because they're two different kinds. They treat many, many different kinds of insects that live in the garden. So I'm going to be treating the garden with both. And just to give you an idea on the back of the... Now these are, these are SF nematodes. Here's the name right there in the right corner. Okay, and you, these are all supposed to be kept refrigerated till you use them. But here are a list of the pests that the SF nematodes will treat. You hear my coffee maker in the back? <laughs> okay, those are those. And on this box, I don't believe it, it lists it, but I'll show you the box and then you can pause the tape if you are interested in reading what it says. These, I bought the, I bought the 3,200 square foot box and that was um, 1998. There is a half size of that for about $15 or $14 and it goes up from there and if you buy the three different types you save quite a bit too so I I prefer next time if I ever do this again or if I have to will I will buy from the same company because I don't want to have to do two different application processes this one is applied here's the directions for it I'll show you each type of pest has a different application process and and it has a guide on the back that chart that I showed you. So that's how it's and I'm applied. I'm going to wait this evening because it says there it's better to be to apply them at dusk. They don't like sunlight, and also it's cooler at night, so they'll have time to kind of work their way down into the soil. But another thing I liked about um, this company Arbico was that they included a cold pack with it. It was shipped in this bag here inside of a FedEx bag and I also like that too because I prefer getting packages via FedEx than the postal service. The company that mailed these nematodes did not include an, a cold pack. Okay I'm going to start with the SF nematodes and I'm going to be applying it as a solid mixture as a top dressing. So the directions say to get a cup of cold water and um, to add it to this mixture and let it sit for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm adding it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm outside and here it is. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Looks a little bit like oatmeal. Hasn't changed much. I, I expected this to dissolve 
but it didn't. So the nematodes must be in the liquid. So what we're supposed to do is mix this into five quarts of moistened peat moss. And, hold on. And add another half cup of water to rinse out the container. Get all of them out. Pour that in there. Get this out. And it says to mix it until it's distributed evenly. Okay, I think it's all mixed. It took me a couple minutes. And I want to make sure it's mixed really well for the price I paid for it. I want to oh, I'll make sure this works. They probably do better when you put them on the top like this. They don't have to go down far. Cover it up. Alright, so I'm just going to continue doing this to all my beds and then when I distribute the other nematodes that I have, they're in a spray form and I'll show you how that works when I do that. Okay, it's dusk the next day and I'm ready to release my HB nematodes. So I've taken them out of the package here and I have a container with a tight fitting lid and some dechlorinated water ready to go. And so let's look in here. Okay, it's like a powder. how this feels. Okay, it's spongy. Interesting. Oh great, they're backing. Okay, so this feels spongy. And this amount is supposed to cover, this whole amount here is supposed to cover 3,200 square feet. But I'm going to concentrate it. I'm going to use this much to one, oops, I'm going to use this much of it to one gallon. That's how much the sprayer holds. So let's see how easily it dissolves. I decided to start it out in this little container so I could agitate it, like it says. And I don't think I could do that as well if it was sealed up in the sprayer. So I was going to get it dissolved and then add it to more water in, in the sprayer. Okay, let me put the lid on this and agitate. I've agitated this for five minutes like the direction said. And there's still a little bit of sediment. You can see that. So that's all the sediment that was left. And I'll just dump that I'll on I'll be garden. adding a gallon of water to this and spraying it. And I don't think I'll be bringing you along for that since it's hard to do one-handed. And you all know what that looks like anyway. So thanks for watching, everybody. Keep your fingers crossed for me. I hope these nematodes work and we get rid of all of those grubs. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye. Here's Atlas. Chillin'. Right, Atlas? relaxing yeah just relaxing in this chair